Hi, my name's Kieran Feeney. I am from Sim and Skills, and I'm just going to take a few moments today to tell you about a new piece of software called Simbox. So on the right hand side here, we have a tablet and a Bluetooth speaker. And what this allows you to do is add generative AI to any patient simulator that you currently own or mannequin. So as you probably know, patient simulators mannequins are fantastic. But one thing they're not brilliant for is for communication. So generally speaking, what you have to do is either use the pre-programmed um, conversational sounds up from the tablet, yes, no, I'm in pain, etc. Or you might be able to put a headset on and have a two-way conversation uh, with the mannequin. Now that's fantastic if you've got a one-way screen and you're not stood beside the mannequin, even then it's quite artificial. But um, if you are close to the mannequin and you're wearing a headset or as a, a member of faculty educator, you're in the same room, you kind of lose that, lose that fidelity and often have to prompt the students with how the patient's feeling and give them feedback. So what Simvox does, it allows you to add the generative AI conversation to the simulator to solve that problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a short demonstration to show you how it works and how it enhance what you're currently doing, hopefully. So I'm just going to grab my Bluetooth speaker and just leave it here. Okay, just so the sounds are coming from the mannequin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce myself and just ask uh, this patient a number of questions. Now, uh, this patient is obviously sat in bed in a hostile environment, but ignore that for the moment. Just, I just want you to get a feel for how fluid the conversation is and how far I can go to help me practice my communication skills. So. Good morning, my name is Dave. Can I confirm your name and your date of birth, please? My name is Kieran Feeney and my date of birth is 11th April 1980. Okay, what brings you here today? I've been admitted to hospital with lower back pain. Okay, how long have you had this pain for? It's been going on for the last four days. Do you know what caused the pain? I was tying my shoelace and I felt a sharp pain. Are you taking any medication for the pain? I've been taking ibuprofen and paracetamol for the last four days. And is that helping? It's not really helping. Have you tried anything else? I've been using an ice pack on my back. And is that helping? It's not really helping. Uh, do you have a history of lower back pain? No, I don't. And from a scale of one to ten, how bad is the pain? It's a 10. Do you have any allergies that I need to know about today? I'm allergic to pineapple. Okay. So I'm just going to start off by taking your blood pressure. Is that okay? Okay, sure. So as you can see folks, it's really fluent and to build that particular scenario, which is a lower back pain scenario, it literally took me a few minutes. I just literally typed into a few boxes to explain the situation and then the, the intelligence of the, of the AI just manages to put it all together. And as I said, you can build your own content, localised content, and you can use it with any patient simulator. So if you want to know anything else about it, please get in touch. Thank you.